and welcome to this week's OMC2 news. This week's news is all about the Master Switch products, so Yorkshire version 3 and the Master Buzz Gen 3 pack version 1.2. Without further ado, let's get into this week's OMC2 news. So first of all, last Thursday, again, as is the trend with OMC2 products and anything related with Aerosoft, Thursday was the release date of choice. We got version 1.2 of the Gemini 3, the Master Bus Gen 3. This is not so much surprising as in the last OMC2 news, you may remember we discussed that the scripts uh, were basically the whatever paperwork or requirements surrounding that were fulfilled and now Master Switch had the ability to release this uh, V1.2 before V1.02 of Alan London is released and that's exactly what happened. So the Master Bus Gen 3 pack version 1.2 was released with it bringing numerous changes and enhancing the pack altogether. Whilst most of it is to do with London spec buses, there are also some improvements for the non-London spec buses. But as you can see here in the snapshot from the Steam page, the main updates were set for us. For example, blinds, mirrorless uh, technology, and, uh, new camera mirrors, and as well as London spec parents, which we'll get into a bit more now as well. So as you can see here, there's basically six London spec parents. You have the street deck, you have the street deck, vo so you have the street deck, uh, fa free facelift, which is this body bus here to the right. So you have the street deck stealth, which is the newer bodywork, and both of those are void gearboxes. Then we have the street deck HEV, which is the hybrid version and sounds like a washing machine. Uh, that's based off what they say. And then we also have the Volvo B5 TL, V5 LH, with both the stealth body and the pre facelift body. And uh, more importantly, the B5 LH and the hybrid street decks have received a massive update with the hybrid drivetrain mod, courtesy of Morphe, which adds in proper sounds to the hybrid buses and makes these buses drive like a hybrid and overall makes these buses a very pleasant to drive. I will show you some two quick videos of those buses so you can see for yourselves what they're like, but of course, you can watch the full videos if you so wish. And this is also means that this is not only for the London spec, but it's also for the other B5 LHs and uh, street decks, which are included in the pack. So even the regional ones, and they also added in these double displays. And then as you can see here, there's loads of fixes, loads of new stuff added. They also fixed the fact that you may remember sometimes in the rain, the wipers wouldn't clear the whole rain precipitation. That should be now fixed. But yeah, quite an extensive change log. Um, but the main things are there, as we said, the mirrorless. Also, they have changed the B5TL and B5LH. They call it an overhaul, but basically you'll notice that the angle is different and that it just looks more realistic. They seem to have uh, brought it up more, so it's at a more ob obtuse angle. And now let's take a look, first of all, at the B5LH, which is here. So I'm not going to show all the six variants because there's loads of them. You can always watch videos of those if you so wish. But we have here the B5LH London spec on the 432 and i'll show you about the videos are less than a minute long just gives the impression of the hybrid drivetrain mod which is probably one of the highlights of the add-on And this is the Street Deck HEV, which is basically the hybrid version of the Street Deck.
Okay, and I don't think to mention as you may have noticed there, there's no branding patches. That's because this was filmed on the day it was released. But a branding patch has since gone live on the Masters with Studios. So you can install that branding patch and then you have the proper Volvo and the right bus um, brandings respectively. Okay, and then the next thing is Yorkshire version 3 was put on the Steam page. So we've been talking a lot about Yorkshire version 3 as it nears release. But as you can see here, it has been put on the Steam page as coming soon. No price has been set yet. Um, the developer has said that there's deliberation with Eversoft and what price will be set. But as soon as that has been confirmed and finalized, you can expect an update. And usually the way this works is that once something's put on the Steam page, it generally happens that it's released within six weeks, although the C2 family pack is an uh, exception, which has been on the Steam page for over four months now, as far as I know. Now, of course, there is no release date, but based off what is pretty much a trend or tradition, we can expect that the release date will be on a Thursday, which narrows it down because we know it's going to be released in quarter two, the second quarter two, about 10 uh, separate dates but which exact Thursday it's not so easy to speculate because in contrast to Adam London which was pretty obvious when it was going to release because of the Christmas sales with the, this one it's not so much the case but nonetheless um, I, what I will say is it's very likely to be released on a particular Thursday what Thursday that is could be Thursday in May June or J July no July is quarter three so J May or June and that's really that side of things but nonetheless with this, we also have the main announcements of what will be featured. So as you can see there, there's loads of screenshots. But one thing that was found out that wasn't known beforehand is that there'll be actually two buses that come with this add-on. But first of all, let's go through the stuff on top. So Hillswick Viaduct, which I'm guessing is a real-life viaduct in Yorkshire, will be added in. I'm, I'm guessing it's this one here, although that may not be the case. Inglesborough Seaford, this of course, you can a seafront, you can remember this from Yorkshire version 2. You have Windhaven again, pretty... Um, Pretty well known spot if you play Yorkshire version 1 or version 2. We have two depots. We have First Yorkshire and Yorkshire Terrier. There will be an AI tram network. As you can see here, there's AI tram network. And based off the map we've shown you, it has quite a few stops. And of course, we'll be doing a video of it because, as you know, on this channel, we do focus particularly on buses as well as trams. Then we also have the endorsement by ticketers. So you're going to have your whole uh, ticketer implementation for those of you who like ticket selling, all that kind of stuff. There will be night routes, so that's mainly going to be in the shape of the university ones. I mean, the current Yorkshire version 2 university routes, U27, U26, or U26 and U27, to say in the proper order, are both 24 hours. And then I think they're talking about parking lot routes there as well. And here's the important thing, there will be two new buses. So we didn't know that there would be a Wheeling B8 RLE, but now it actually turns out there will also be a Yorkshire version of the master deck, which basically is the street deck. So this will include not only a Wheeling, but also a street deck. Now, for most of you, you probably own the Gen 3 pack, so this is not particularly useful, although this will be a Yorkshire spec. Well, uh, so we'll see what, it'll be interesting to see what minor changes are implemented in within that. But I know some people don't actually have the Street Deck or the Gemini 3 pack, so this will be a nice way to get a taster of the two masters, which is this Gen 3 pack and the Veiling pack. So with, this will basically include a Street Deck and a Veiling, so a single decker and a double decker. That will also mean that it, the AI won't just be a BA already, which is obviously a nice feature for those of you who don't know how to change your AI list or don't really want to bother doing so, because usually the AI are optimized the best by the developers then there will be pdf files for your timetables again and user manual all of this is for those of you who like the collectible stuff and all that kind of stuff uh it's the main thing this is be, uh, there's a big focus with this being compatible and working with bus company simulator and control room simulator with a specific company being set up just for yorkshire version 3 so that's something else for those of you who own those two add-ons or even one of those two add-ons look forward to usually you don't like the bus cup you don't bus company separately or you don't vote and then also there'll be depot ones which is a nice feature as we all know, we do like to do this a lot on the channel and in the term in the shape of streams. And this brings us to an end of the OMSI 2 news. There's just another picture of the of the um, BHRLE that will come with Yorkshire version 3. There is actually no screenshots on the Steam page with the Yorkshire Street Deck, so perhaps they're keeping that as a surprise. And that is it for now. Hope you found this video helpful. Hope you um Gain some new insights into what's happening in the Obsidian 2 world. Make sure to subscribe for weekly Obsidian 2 news updates. Hit that like button. Join the Discord for even more to save even more on top of your simulation news and Obsidian 2 news. That is it for now. Until next time.